Hello, this is Andy Ford video and we're going to look at making a whip pan or swish pan effect. Here we have two clips from Envato Elements and to do this transition effect we will have this clip move over to the left and the other clip will come in from the right. We can use the motion tile effect for this but first let's create an adjustment layer. Layer, new, adjustment layer. Then we can add the motion tile effect which is under effect stylize motion tile. Then you want to decide how long you want your effect to be. For this instance, we'll have it happen over 10 frames. So we can go to the point where our clips change and go back five frames to set our first keyframe. And that will be for our tile center. Then we'll go up 10 frames or five frames past the point where the clips change. And we will change the position so that the clip moves to the left and it's fully replaced it. We know in this example that the new position will be minus 960. That's because this is a 1920 by 1080 composition. So we go from 960 to minus 960. Our keyframes are set, so when we play this, we can already see the motion that we want is happening. Let's enhance this by adding an easy ease to our keyframes. You can select your keyframes and press F9, or right click on them, go to keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. If you go to effects and blur and sharpen, you could use a fast box blur if you want the option to repeat edge pixels, or a directional blur often works in many cases. This instance, I'll set the blur direction to the way we're moving, or 90 degrees. And then we'll set a keyframe for no blur at the beginning and end of our movement. And in the middle, we'll add the peak of our blur value. Again, we can select the keyframes and ease them by pressing F9 or right-clicking to your keyframe assist menu. And there's a quick way to perform a whip pan or swish pan using the motion tile effect on an adjustment layer. Thank you.